No surprises in Finland as Sweden and Norway dominate today's team sprints. A 10-day break and a transatlantic flight saw the Coupe FAS cross-country tour back in action in Lati. Three days of racing started with the first team sprint of the year. In the women's race, Sweden paired Olympic champion Sundling with Sprint World Cup leader Svahn. They looked unbeatable on paper. And with Carlsen and Dahlqvist in the B team, they were expecting a 1-2, but a big fall from Dahlqvist put pay to that. At that stage, Sweden won, went up a gear, leaving Finland, Germany and Norway to scrap it out for the minor places. With two laps to go, Sweden, who have five of the top seven sprinters in the world, were cruising. Svan certainly wasn't going to need any of her fast twitch fibres on her final lap. Finland 1 and 2, Norway 1 and 2, Germany were in the thick of the action for the final lap. Matin Talu, Shistat, Gimler, Juensu, Mirvold only metres apart. Far too easy then for Sweden. A country mile ahead of the rest of the teams. But the action was happening some 200 metres behind the champions. And it was Matin Talu who used her local knowledge and the support of the crowd to come home and claim second along with Parmakoski, Gimler and Hennig in third for Germany. Just ski fast and... Uh... Beat. Sweden too, <laughs> awesome. So another great day for the Swedish sprinters and they're almost 2,000 points clear of Norway in the Nations Cup standings. 15 teams entered the men's race and with Goldberg and Klebo, the gold and silver medalists from the World Championship splint in Planica, they were as hot a favourites as Sweden were in the women's race. After three of six laps, Norway, France, Finland, Switzerland, Sweden, all in the running. In the latter stages, France made a bid for glory with Chapaz, but a big fall from the Frenchman put pay to their chances of getting on the podium. And the Norwegians cruising home, not only in first, but they also claimed second place with Taubol and Norton. So Goldberg and Klebo, the champions, Norway two, the silver and Finland, the locals with Niskanen and Vurinen claiming third. 16.56, the winning time for Goldberg and Klebo. Yeah, it was an exciting race. It's uh, quite nervous uh, with the downhill was, uh, today. It's quite difficult, so but I'm, I managed to stay at the front and uh, yeah, too bad for uh, Jules who fell down. But. Ah, it was uh, tough today. So the strongest team you could possibly get taking the victory here in Lati, Norway, 3,300 points plus ahead of the rest of the nations. Another great day for them and they will have conserved energy for tomorrow's 20K time trial classic style. Diggins and Amundsen will be looking to defend the yellow bibs with seven to go.